Hello and welcome to this lesson on conjunctions and today we're going to look at the two different main types of conjunctions. So first of all, what is a conjunction? A conjunction links two or more words together or phrases or clauses together. There are two main types of conjunctions we use and they are coordinating conjunctions and subordinating conjunctions. So we're going to look at the coordinating conjunctions. Uh, they link two main clauses together as an equal pair to create a compound sentence. We usually remember these words using the acronym FANBOYS. An acronym means that each starting letter gives us a word what they represent. So we've got F-A-N-B-O-Y-S. So if you pause the video now and try to name them all, that'd be great. Hopefully you got most of them. They are for and nor, but, or, yet, and so. And what we're going to do is we're going to look through some different examples and some different usage of those. So what we need to do is we're going to look through at these sentences here and we're going to put in the correct conjunction. So I wanted to go swimming. The swimming pool was closed. I wanted to go swimming, but the swimming pool was closed. Hopefully you got that one. I fell over, bumped my head. I fell over and bumped my head. Would you like to go to the park? Play on your slat on your bike. The word there is or. So would you like to go to the park or it's given an option. When there's an option, usually it's going to be the or used there. I want to go to the beach. Mum said we couldn't go. So within there, it's going to be I want to go to the beach, but mum said we couldn't go. I like to watch football. I can't play it. I want. I like to watch football, but I can't play it. So it's given the opposite there. I took my dog for a walk across the field. We both got muddy. And we both got muddy. So I took my dog for a walk across the field and we both got muddy. So let's move on to subordinate conjunctions. They introduce a subordinate clause. So subordinating conjunctions start a subordinate clause. You can remember some of the most useful subordinate conjunctions using the acronym a white bus again those a w h i t and e and b u and s start in the words for a white bus. how do we use subordinate conjunctions subordinate conjunctions are used the first words within a subordinate clause subordinate clauses do not make sense on their own subordinate clauses we will always have a subject and a verb within them so we've got our subordinate clause after we've then got our subject she and the verb smiled, what she is doing. So this has built a subordinate clause with a subordinate conjunction starting it. So we move through, see a subordinate clause that is going to start the subordinate conjunction. After Christmas, we've got our here, after is being used as a preposition. And it is not a subordinate clause. So I want you to pause the video now and can you name the subordinate conjunctions? There are quite a few and there's lots for some of the letters. So just have a look and see if you can get that. So good luck with that. Hopefully you might need to get most of those. We've got A, we've got although, as and after. W, we've got where, wherever, whenever, when and while. H, however. I, if. P, we've got though and than. E, we've got even if, even though. And B, we've got before, because, you, until, unless. S, so that, and since. So what we're going to do is we're going to look and see if we can spot the subordinate conjunctions and the subordinate clauses in the sentence. So let's have a look. We've got the eager pupil sped into school when the bell rang. So the subordinate clause there, when the bell rang. So that's when they did it. Because on their own, the eager pupil sped into school makes sense on its own, but we're adding that subordinate clause in there. And the subordinate conjunction is going to start the subordinate clause, which is going to be when the bell rang. Whales give birth to live young as they are mammals. So let's see if we can spot the subordinate clause first. So the sentence whales give birth to live young works on its own. We're adding some information there with the subordinate clause. And the, so we've got as they are mammals. Then the subordinate conjunction is as. Right, the hopeless rugby team lost the game because they hadn't trained. Let's look, the hopeless rugby team lost the game. 
that makes sense for a second, because they hadn't trained. So therefore, the subordinating clause there is because they hadn't trained. Subordinating conjuncts are always at the beginning of the subordinating clause. So we have got because they hadn't trained. In the sentence we have looked at so far, the subordinating clause has always come after the main clause. But watch, the eager pupils sped into school when the bell rang. We could put it the other way around. We can say when the bell rang, the eager pupils sped into school. And it can make sense there as well. So it can either be before the main clause or it can be after. But the subordinating conjunction always starts the subordinating clause. Subordinating can also be used as the first word in a sentence. When the subordinating clause comes before the main clause, make sure you remember to use a comma to mark when the subordinating clause ends. A bit like a front ear adverbial. So when the bell rang, comma, the eager pupil sped into school. Can you swap these sentences around so that the subordinating clause comes before the main clause? Don't forget your commas. So we've got whales give birth to live young as they are mammals. The hopeless rugby team lost the game because they hadn't trained. So we can see the start there, we've got as they are mammals. So what I want you to do is I want you to move that to the front of the sentence and see what you've got. And we've got the hopeless rugby team lost the game because they hadn't trained. Can you move because they hadn't trained to the front of the sentence and remember your comma? So let's see if you can do that. We should have got as they are mammals, whales give birth to live young. And because they hadn't trained, the hopeless rugby team the game. New letter because I'm your biggest fan would work in there. As I'm your biggest fan would also work as well. What other ones did you get? Does it make sense? I eat lunch, I am going to an important meeting. What could fit into here? Okay, hopefully you've got something there down for that. And just to finish, I've put some questions what you get in your um, grammar punctuation spelling test. And this is something you could try on your own. So have a look at those. So pause the video now. See if you can answer these questions and highlight the conjunctions and the subordinate conjunctions or the uh, coordinate conjunctions, what could be used in there. Okay, I hope this video has been really helpful for you and all the best with your practice. Thank you.